at the Kenya Ethiopia border lies Moyale subcounty 247.6 kilometers from Marsabit town 777.6 kilometers from Nairobi the road is smooth and tarmacked but the deeper you approach the interior the more you notice a change of color on the leaves from green to yellow to gray an indication of dryness prolonged drought and water scarcity in the interior the only trade happening is that of water at the water kiosks why you may ask everyone is in the business of fetching water there is no extra time for any other business this is a seasonal river here in Moyale sub-county and it is currently dry. With climate change, what is the ratio of water consumption of human beings and livestock to the available water resources here in the Asal region? This road leads to the Habu Mwamu's homestead. Beautifully decorated white stones gives a warm welcome to her abode. America. Happiness of her children playing are all around and matching their thirst for water. When you look around the compound, there is no tap, a sign that water has been a rare visitor to this homestead. Saturday 1, 10 p.m. East African time, the Habu is busy preparing lunch for her six children. Water, water that she walks for 12 kilometers to get, all in the hopes to feed her six children. Water that is still not enough. If it were an ordinary kitchen, you'd expect to see meat and milk probably in this area. But that's a story for another day. This empty tank cannot go unnoticed. Its dryness a vivid reflection that water has been dire. Yote, walikunya kwa pali moja kwa sababu binadamu ye, watu yetu wanapenda sana mfugo kuliko binadamu sisi tunakaa mama tunaongojea mfugo mfugo anakunya alafu anaenda baada ya mfugo anaenda sisi tulichota oh, maji tulipotesa wakati yetu yote huko alafu baadaye tunashota alafu tunakunja zamani Zamani niliamuka asubuhi mapema saa 12. Si hata saa 12, saa 10 niliamuka nilipika mtoto yangu chakula. Mtoto anaenda shule, alafu mimi nafunga bunda yangu, mimi naenda asubuhi karibu saa 12 mimi naenda maji. Nikifuju maji haitoshi zamani. Leo uko naenda safari kama kilomita ngapi? Karibu kilomita sita hivi mimi naenda mimi naenda alafu nishote maji nirudi kabla mimi wakati nilifuka huko saa ngine watu wanakuja wanakuja walafu mololongo ni mbali kila mtu anangoja laini yake kila wakati mimi watoto wana walikuwa na homa zamani atumbo tumbo inaendesha homa kila wakati kama unapona baada ya one week baada ya one week tena inarudia tumbo inasa tu inaendesha tu zamani hapo na shida mingi sana tuliongojea kwa saa ngine wakati sisi tulirudia kwa nyumbani hata wakati sisi tulichoka wakati sisi tulipika kwa watoto chakula hiyo time imeisha watoto hatawezi pata chakula vile unataka juu maji ni mbali for more than a decade she has survived on 60 liters of water for two weeks. Zamani, ata mtungi tatu naweza kujuma aji ni kidogo zamani tunaka mtungi tatu ni miaka wakati, yani usiku, yani wiki mbili. Yani, ata awesi kunya vizuri, awesi osha, awesi ata osha kwa nguo, awesi ata osha kwa mili. Zamani, juma aji ni shida ata awesi osha vizuri, ata awesi kunya vizuri. A decade ago, residents of Kinisa location only had one watering point. 
For a long time, the ratio stood at one water point to 48,200 lives depending on it. Barely enough water for the community to drink and use. As the day grew older, the queues at the water point prolonged, both human beings and livestock struggling to drink from the same water point, obviously overlooking its safety. The roads, oh the roads, they are dusty and rough, not to mention the amount of heat they are radiating. Despite all that, getting water remained the focus. For close to a decade, residents have battled with lack of water. This made them pen down their thirst. Kwa sababu shida moja, sisi tulienda mbali, lakini tunakuja, unajua watu walikunya huko mazi, ni binadamu kijiji ni mingi sana, lobula, manyata location, bururi, akina ile manyata ngini. Ni karibu wa ene na wa tano hivi manyata. Wanakuja pamoja lafu kila mtu anangojea leini yake, majini, lakini majini kubwa ni watu ni wengi. Hata sisi tulikuja, tulichukua muda mrefu, yani kwa sababu tulikuja kwa mbali, juu tulikuja kwa mbali, <coughs> nilichukua tu, yani tulichukua tu muda mrefu kutembea. Kati sisi tuliandi, yani tulipitia yo shida, watu yetu walikaa pamoja waliandikia barua kwa pasda na WHH. Na watu walisikia na walichukua hiyo barua alafu wanakuja kuangalia sisi. Wamesema hiyo shida yenu ni kweli, tunakuja kusaidia nyinyi alafu nyinyi mjipange, wa, yani wametufundisha kwa sheria. Mjipange alafu sisi wanatuambia sisi alafu wanarudia. Neighboring Kinisa is an on a location. Community dwellers are reading from the same script. A queue of 20 litre jerry cans welcomes you with women waiting for their turn to fetch. This circular plastic pickle is gold to them. Once placed against the water meter, 20 litre of water flows into the jerry cans, ensuring no drop is lost. <laughs> Elizabeth Kabale, however, goes back in time when she could barely see and drink this kind of water. Zamani maji ni shida sana. Tulikuwa tunashota penye ngamia, ngombe na mbuzi wanakunya. Tulikuwa tumeangaika sana zamani. Unajua zamani tumepitia shida mingi sana ni mama. Niko na mtoto sita. Eh niko na mtoto sita. Mtoto inne ni boys, mtoto mbili ni msichana. Mtoto inne ni mvlana, mtoto mbili ni msichana. Alavu samani, wakati mi nilikuwa mtoto mbili, niko na nimepitia na shida mingi sana. Kabla hiyo project tajakuja, unajua tulikunya maji mbaya zamani. Na maji yetu zamani ni kidogo kwa sababu kisima ni moja. Sai tuko na kisima mbili maji ni kubwa. Zamani tulishota maji mfugo na binadamu yote walikunya kwa pali moja. Kwa sababu binadamu ye, watu yetu wanapenda sana mfugo kuliko binadamu. The lack of water in these two communities heightened their intervention from pastoralist community initiative development and assistance PASIDA and Veltuhunga Hifle. WHH, a centralized water 24-7 borehole in each community, was the ultimate solution. It was in 2011 when drilling began. Solar panels were connected. Water kiosks were established. Residents of Anona and Kinisa finally quenched their thirst. <laughs> Anona uses the prepaid water system where there is no exchange of hard money at the water kiosk, while Kinisa is more inclined to hard cash. Communities were in awe when they first heard of the idea. The reception was very cold. Sai wakati pasida na WH, H wamekuja, wametusaidia sana, wamejenga bwa otimbili, 
alafu hiyo ni tunashota hiyo wameseparatiwa ile ni maji ya mfugo maji ni ya binadamu yote wameseparatiwa saa hii lakini hata kama tulienda mbali ni tulishota kwa wakati alafu tunaenda nyumbani kwa sababu shida moja sisi tulienda mbali lakini tunakuja tunajua watu walikunywa huko mazi ni binadamu kijiji ni mingi sana lobula manyata location bururi akina ile manyata ngine ni karibu wa ene na wa, sab, wa tano hivi manyata wanakuja pamoja alafu kila mtu anaongojea laini yake maji ni, lakini maji ni kubwa ni watu ni wengi as an organization to be able to support community to improve access to water not only water in terms of quantity but in terms of quality we have managed as an organization to seek for support from our partners from our international donors to be able to support our community to assess what safe water for their both domestic and livestock use and in that regard we have managed to drill borehole for the community equip the borehole construct ponds and dams shallow wells do other facilities like water storage tanks the main source of water for this project is a borehole which has a yield of 5 cubic meter per hour and uh, when we came here as an organization to support the community based on their request uh, they were using generator and it's the uh, diesel run generator the community are using the generator and it was expensive for them to be able to maintain and also operate that system because of uh, maintenance of the generator and also use of diesel but uh, now as an organization uh, through this project of improving an on water supply system we have installed a solar power system which has now reduced the running and operational cost of the system because they are using the solar energy which is a green energy to to, to power the, the system to pump water from the borehole into the storage tank most people are very vulnerable the levels of malnutrition are also high and of course as, as we speak now there is drought that has been killing animals and in some instances human beings and the long term solution is to build their capacity to, to to respond on their own and that is what we are doing we are building their resilience the government has been involved in every area because number one it's the government that get in uh, improved right from the beginning or initiation project because even the, when the donors are coming in they dis- they have to interact and uh, work together in cooperation with the government the government is also is there to ensure that there is security of the projects ensure the security of the implementers and continue sensitizing the community the importance of owning whichever project is done in the area following every sunrise the wabu loads her donkey with four jerry cans of water with help from her firstborn daughter she places a blanket on the donkey to reduce friction of the ropes from rubbing against the donkey's skin four jerry cans of water is placed on the donkey amounting to a total of 60 liters of water after firmly tightening the ropes off she goes to the borehole for 6 kilometers she walks to the borehole on very hot sand under the scorching sun the boreholes are convenient enough as they have separate water points for both livestock and human beings after unloading the donkey first things first donkeys drink water once they are done she drives them back to the water kiosk today she is fetching 60 liters of water every 20 liter goes for 5 kenyan shillings Then later the hardest task begins walking for another 6 kilometers back to the homestead. Ta kama tunakuja kwa mbali bora tunakunya maji msafi sana. Tujiongoje tu shote maji yetu alafu tunarudi. Shida moja mimi nauliza eh, shida moja mimi naambia mimi nili asubuhi niliamka nafanya kasi yangu na ninafunga yani bunda yangu naenda maji nikifika huko 
mulolongo ni mrefu sana nimeka nishote maji yangu niende kwa sababu maji ni mzuri haina shida yote kwa sa, e, ju, ju nilikuja tu kwa bali mbali ni shida nilinayo huko niyo tu unajua mfugo anakunya hapa wengine wanakunya hapa mimi nilishota hapa zamani hata tulikunya tu maji chafu na saa hii tunakunya vizuri hata kama hawezi choka hata kama ni mbali unasho, unaweza fika mtungi tisa saba hivi saa hii inatosha unaosha vizuri mwili unakunya at least afya yetu iko sawa Finally she arrives. Water is placed under this tree with heavy security around it. When her children want to drink water, she measures it for them. Sixty liters of water is not enough for one day usage. The output of education for her children, she says, has been on a downward trend. Masomo unajua ni muhimu zaidi. Mtoto unaweza hata kama sasa hivi unapata shida sasa hivi mimi mbeleni mtoto yangu ananisaidia kama anasoma vizuri. Sasa hivi juu ya maji hata mtoto hawezi pata elimu nzuri kwa sababu mimi naamka asubuhi mapema maji mtoto anachukua mtungi tano alafu anaenda naye Najua shule ni karibu yangu sasa hii. Mtoto yangu akienda asubuhi mapema anachukua mazi mtungi tano alafu anaenda naye. Kama mimi leo unajua binadamu unaweza kuwa mgonjwa saa ngine. Saa ngine unajua wanaume kuna kitu anakuuma wanawake. Ana, kuna saa ngine unapata mgonjwa. Najua wakati mimi nili labda nilichelewa na nilienda mazi mtoto yangu hawezi enda shule kwa sababu anaogopa mwalimu mwalimu anachapa anaogopa mwalimu hawezi enda shule kila yaani ana ataki kwenda shule anakataa alafu anakaa nyumbani tu wakati mimi nilikosa maji ama wakati mimi nilichelewa maji kwa sababu mtoto yote ana asubuhi niko na mtoto tano anaenda shule mtoto mtoto tano anaenda shule kila mtu anachukua mtungi Kurilita anachukua alafu anaenda shule. Maji hata initoshe akikuja anakunya zaidi kwa sababu jua ni kali sana. Chakula mimi napika tu hiyo jua ni kali mtoto anakunya zaidi. Mimi na osha tu hiyo, mimi na oga mtoto hiyo hata initoshi kama mimi yani at least hata kama ninachoka ninarudia tu. Natembea ninarudia tu kazi yangu hata ni maji tu hata awezi fanya business kwa sababu hiyo maji. Recently Pasida and WHH handed over the water kiosks to Kinisa and Anona communities, translating that they now have full control of the water. When the water kiosk or solar panel breaks down, the money they pay helps to repair it. Now that is resilience. This system, uh, uh, the community are able to generate enough revenue to be able to run the system on their own sustainably. So we believe in building the resilience of community, building the sustainability of water system. Today as Pasida and uh, WHH and uh, county government officers, we are here to hand over an honor water project to the community so that now they can, as a community, they can now uh, take up the project and uh, be able to move on sustainably with the system and uh, as county government and uh, relevant departments like the department of water who are now here with us they have been supporting us all through implementation of this project giving us technical support in terms of uh, uh, implementation of each uh, project implementation of this project in every stages to final conclusion of the project we are very happy it is good you have handed over to us this is ours and what we assure you is the sustainability we are in 21st century we are not in the life of uh, being pushed by wheelbarrow we are ready. we have even expected even one year ago we are ready thank you very much we can see this uh, project is very unique because the many other projects of all water projects have been missed, even in the sub county we we'll still use the old methods where one has to carry money and uh, go and pay cash. But with this one, 
repaid meter and how the water is controlled it is unique because one there is minimized wastage of water two there is accountability because the person who is accessing the water source does not pay for cash to anyone so so it is a free paid we have token and i think i have liked it because one it's again it saves on time because when one comes for water does not require any operator is the person using his or her token to access water but now the money goes straight they buy tokens uh, electronically and the money goes straight to their bank account they are able to monitor how much money is in their bank account they can check through the mobile phone or computer and if there's a breakdown like uh, I, today we were told by people from water that uh, they used to disturb them to come every now and then because of breakages but for the last like two years they've taken care of everything they only call and say they, 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 we have a problem with the system or we have a problem with the water and we have the money to pay for it so we only need people technicians to come and do it the prepaid water meter system the system is 100 percent and the revenue generation is 100 percent with that system the community generate enough revenue to be able to maintain and operate them as facilities on their own without seeking for external support with the capacity to pump five cubic meter per hour the boreholes have now provided access to clean water what is now left is for the water to be brought closer to the homesteads of the residents. Marvin Munyao, KTN News.